Hi guys, Jordan from PMP Campers. I'm just going to be doing a handover video on this 64 plate VW Transporter uh, camper conversion. Um, what I'll do is I'll start around the outside under the bonnet, walk around and then I'll show you on the inside after that. Um, so on the left hand side we've got the air filter inside this box just here. The power steering fluid is in this reservoir at the front and your uh, brake fluid is in this one just at the top. In the middle at the front we've got here with your uh, engine oil dipstick from there with the yellow top and your engine oil filling point just here towards the right. You then got your washer fluid goes in this reservoir here, engine coolant and then your engine battery over here on the right. So to get to the fuel filling point we open up this door here and open this little flap up that gives you access to the diesel filling point. You do need to make sure that the door's open, otherwise you won't be able to open the locker up at all. Uh, so there's a pop top roof on here and you've got the proper solar panel, which is working really, really well at the moment. Uh, it was put in about, so it had about 13 and a half volts in the leisure battery uh, when it was outside. So towards the back of the van, um, not much to show really, apart from the fact that in this little cupboard here, we have got a couple of things. So we've got your 240 volt trip switches just here. And then next door to that, we've got this, which is your uh, mains powered charger. So if you've got the hookup plugged in, you have power going to those things there. And if the charger is on, it means that your leisure battery is getting charged up all the time. Down below here, underneath the vehicle is where your electric hookup is. So if you can plug your hookup cable into that, then basically you're gonna have you know, access to using those things in there and any 240 volt appliances or sockets that you might have inside the vehicle. You've also got your table in here. So this sort of sits on this back door here, so it sits out of the way uh, and doesn't get in the way of anything inside. Nothing to show you on the offside, to be honest, apart from the fact that bodywork is in really, really nice condition. Windows are all looking good. Um, this is an opener just here that you can get to from inside. So in the cab, I'll just jump in. We've got uh, air conditioning from the switch just there in the middle and all of your heater controls down below that. Double din sized Pioneer head unit out there that works really nicely. Um, lots of really nice bits and pieces that you can use from, from that. Uh, above here, a couple of bits. Um, this is all just to do with the VW side of things. So you've got the service button here and just bits and bobs like that really. Nothing too interesting. Um, just trying to see if there's anything else. Uh, five speed manual gearbox. Reverse is lift up on the back just here, up and over to the top left hand side. Uh, indicators and flash is on the left hand stalk, washers and wipers are on the right. Your lights are over here on this little dial uh, and your electric adjusting mirrors are from this little joystick here. They're also heated, if you leave it in the middle they're heated mirrors. Uh, you can lock and unlock the cab from here and you've got your electric window switches from here as well. So you've got a cup holder, comes out from here nice and easy and your hazard warning lights from there i think that's about it really for the cab so what i'll do now is i'll just jump in the actual back of the vehicle uh, and just show you what we've got going on in there it's going to be a fairly short video because there's not a huge amount to run through on the inside um but i'll just get on with it so as soon as you open up this sliding door, you'll see here, you've got this little switch. So this is gonna be for your lights and basically just 12 volt power. Um, so here you've got a little bit of storage down here on the right hand side, actually a fair amount of storage there. Uh, we go in here, another storage locker. More storage. Right, this locker just here, um, so you can see it's got the gas or LPG sticker on it. That's because the gas bottle is in here. So to turn the gas bottle on, you have to turn the dial anti-clockwise all the way around. 
and then once you've got there the gas will be on you'll then be able to use your hobs up there and to be honest that's the only thing that works on gas in the vehicle so that's the only reason you would actually have to have that gas turned on over to the right we've got your fresh water tank so you can really easily as you can see take that cassette or that tank out uh, all you need to make sure of before you start trying to use it is that this pump here is sat inside the tank um, as you can imagine if you try and draw the water through the the, uh, the sink without this in the water you're not going to get any water coming through to the sink so simple as that and as i said easy as that to take the actual fresh water tank out we have tested all of this as part of the habitation check and it all worked really nicely um, wastewater comes out underneath the vehicle on the off side there um, but yeah there we go nice and straightforward on that side of things um, so it's cold water only so you literally just lift the tap up when you want to use the water uh, you've got your two burner hob over here you've got a piezo ignition for the hobs so you will need to press on that button there whilst pushing in and turning on one of these to get either of these to light up as I said on the outside, this window here is an opening window. Um, so you can lift this piece up. Or push it down, push it down, sorry. And then the window will open nice and easy. You've also got your curtains running across here as well. Uh, so all being done to a really nice standard. So um, the next thing we've got is the fridge. This is a 12 volt Dometic fridge. Uh, and essentially it's just got an on and off button inside the door there. Um, so when you want to use it, press and hold on the on and off switch and it will come to life. That, that really is all there is to it. Um, again, this has just been checked on the habitation check. Absolutely nothing wrong with it whatsoever. And it's working really nicely. So your leisure battery sits down there underneath the driver's seat. And the last thing I need to run you through is gonna be the diesel heater. Now. On the habitation check, we did notice that the screen for it down here is a little bit busted, as you can see. So, if I just explain to you how easy this is, on the keys, you've got this little fob, which these uh, diesel heaters come with. If you press on, on the switch just here, aim it towards it, straight away, you'll be able to hear the fan kick in and after about sort of two or three minutes you'll hear a clicking noise outside and the diesel heater will start pumping out hot air so it really is easy as that whenever you want to use it just use this fob here press the on button and when you're finished with it press the off button and that's it that's all you have to do and there you go so um obviously if this didn't have one of these fobs on the key uh, you know, we would have replaced that screen there, but because this is working so well and it's so easy, we just thought we'd leave it, you know, as it is. Uh, it's a much easier way of using them anyway. Uh, in the back end, uh, you've got a 12 volt socket and a mains powered socket just there. There is another 12 volt socket just on the left hand side of this cabinetry, uh, so you can use that if you need to. Other than that, um, that is about all there is in the vehicle, to be honest with you. Uh, I've shown you around the cab. I've shown you the appliances in the back end. So, yeah. So, if, as you, if, you know, if you think there's anything I've missed out or anything you want going over again, just let us know. But otherwise, look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks very much.